Welcome back to Yumper and Swole's 31 Days of Horror, presented to you by the Tank Love Network. Well, if The Exorcist is considered one of the greatest horror films of all time, this one is considered one of the most influential horror films of all time. George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. The film was directed by Romero with a budget of around $125,000, and the film grossed around $30 million equivalent to $222 million in 2022. Romero was heavily influenced by the novel I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. This film was revolutionary for its time, the first being the casting of Dwayne Jones, an African-American actor, in the lead role. This was a rarity of the time, especially in horror films. Jones was an unknown stage actor at the time, however, you wouldn't recognize that in the way he plays the role of Ben. He does his acting extremely well and he commands the viewer's attention in every scene that he's in. It's crazy to think that most of the dialogue in this film was improvised. The movie is also known for being the first modern zombie film. The movie is based on around characters who are trapped in a household trying to fend off themselves while the dead are coming back to life and craving human flesh and brains. Eventually they begin to have turmoil between themselves that come to a boil. The most recognizable scene from this movie is probably the creeping opening scene with Barbara. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it! You're ignorant! They're coming for you, Barbara. The movie was very gory for its time and controversial due to this. The blood used for the movie was said to be very cheap, and Romero admitted it was actually Bosco chocolate syrup he was used to simulate the blood in the film. However, it looks great due to the movie being shot in black and white. The meat that was eaten by the zombies was actually raw chicken or raw intestines. The movie still holds up today and Romero deserves recognition, if not more, for the work he has done, putting the craze and introducing the world to the modern zombie films. If you're a fan of classic horror and want to see the father of modern day zombie films, check out Night of the Living Dead. And with that, Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out thetanglove.com for more 31 Days of Horror, blogs, and podcasts, and we'll catch you in the next one.